What's up everyone? My name is Marie. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another speed build. So for today's video, I'm working on a house in Tartosa and this is going to be a rental. I was working off of a reference photo that I found on Pinterest and the house that I found on Pinterest looked really cute and small and just like adorable and just a nice little home that I thought, you know what, let's turn that into a rental. It's going to be really cute and wholesome. And then I started building it and it turned out to be really big in The Sims. Um, this is usually how it works when you try to recreate something that you fi find online that isn't necessarily built in The Sims. Size proportions in The Sims are always a little bit off because everything just is, I don't know, it's just very bulky. And it, and it, turn, it tends to turn out a lot bigger than what you're trying to do or what you're looking at, if that makes sense. So um, yeah, this house turned out to be pretty big. I mean, it's not like the biggest house I have ever built in my life, but it definitely turned out bigger than what I had planned at first, which actually turned out to be a good thing because I could turn this into like a really big luxury family rental type of a build. So that's exactly what I did. I do think the rent, like the rental price per day is going to be pretty high. It is most definitely over a thousand simoleons per day. So yeah, it's going to be a little bit expensive, but I feel like it's worth it because uh, there is space for eight sims total. Well, actually there is space for nine, but it's just like whatever suits your um, family dynamic, if that makes sense, because obviously everyone's different, but I did try to have a space for every um, age category, if that makes sense. So we have uh, like a sort of a, like a grandparent suite downstairs. Most of the bedrooms are upstairs, but there is like this entire little front area of the build is that is not connected directly to the rest of the house. So that is like its own little bedroom bathroom. It has a tiny little um, hangout area, just a little living room space, I guess. So that is like its own little suite basically. And I was thinking you could use that for like grandparents if they come on vacation with the family, then they can kind of have their own little secluded area away from the family if they want to. Um, but also it would work really well for a wedding type of a vacation. So you could use that as like the bridal suite and then the, um, the couple can have their own little suite, if that makes sense. And then the rest of their family can stay in the rest of the house. But then obviously there is this big communal kitchen and living room space, dining area. There is like a nice sunroom here um, at the back of the house off of the living room area as well. Uh, so there is tons of space. Also, there is a pool in the back, as you can see. So uh, I feel like this house has everything your Sims would want for a super dreamy vacation. And that's exactly what I wanted because it doesn't have to be wedding related. But as I was building this, I was like, yeah, this would be really cool. And if you're only staying here for like the wedding, I mean, you can't technically have the wedding here because I didn't set it up for a wedding, but you can stay here. You can rent the place and like, like sleep here and then have the wedding at a wedding venue somewhere else in Tartosa. That's kind of what I had envisioned. Um, and then you can only, maybe you only need to stay here for one night and then it's not even that bad. I mean, it's very expensive, but it's pretty realistic. If you're going on vacation with your entire family that maybe consists of eight people, then I feel like that would be pretty expensive. So that kind of makes sense, I guess. Or you can stay here for an entire week. You know, <laughs> it's up to you, whatever you want to do. I feel like it's doable. Um, and so, yeah, this is a very tartosa e build, if that makes sense. I was kind of trying for that whole Spanish colonial but also maybe a little bit Italian I'm not exactly sure I'm not too familiar with the styles um, so yeah I was just kind of trying to go off of that like Mediterranean look and feel and the house I was looking at actually also have the Mediterranean look and feel to it so that's kind of what I tried to copy and what I love about it is like the white plaster on the exterior it just looks so nice and clean and then combined with the dark wood tones and the red texture like the reddish kind of tone for the roof texture and I don't know, I just feel like it turned out it turned out to be so, so dreamy. We have a lot of outdoor space for this house as well, as you can see. And the, at the front of the house, we have a whole like patio situation, um, but also like a terrace area where I later on uh, um, placed a big dining table so you can have like dinner parties out front. There is also a grill area there. Then the back of the house obviously has the pool. So it has like a little lounge area and there is also a little bar there. So if you want to just hire a bartender or have one of your own Sims mix up some drinks, then that is also possible. So I feel like it is a nice, 
party slash vacation slash festive type of a house. Um, and like I just explained for like wedding vacations, I feel like it'd be perfect because we have that bridal suite or grandparents suite if you wanna use this for non-wedding related vacations basically. And um, yeah, I just, I feel like it turned out really, really, really nicely. I'm very excited about this. I feel like I would love to stay at a place like this. I remember for my sister's wedding, we actually had, um, she had her wedding um, in Spain. So we actually stayed at a big house with like my family and um, like his family, like my sister's husband's family, if that makes sense. So we, we rented out this like huge house and that was so cool. And that's kind of what this reminds me of. Um, that house also had a pool and stuff. So it was so like dreamy and it was, it was literally like a fairy tale. Um, that's what it felt like to me. This is years ago, but still like, I think about that. And then when I see a house like this with like lots of bedrooms and lots of bathrooms and like a nice pool and just lots of outdoor space for your Sims to hang out, it kind of reminds me of that. And that makes me happy. I think that's really nice. Also, fun fact, I'm going on vacation tomorrow as I'm recording this, but when you're watching this, I probably am on vacation. <laughs> so that is also why um, there aren't really that many videos going up right now because while well, I'm on vacation and I didn't really have a lot of time to um, pre-record, which I'm pre-recording this. So I, I at least have one video go live, um, but that's about it. So yes, just a little side note there. If you're wondering where, where are the videos <laughs> and where have they been? It's because one, I've been very busy with life. Um, and also I'm on vacation right now. So yeah, um, that's that, but I think it's okay. As soon as I'm back from vacation, I will get back on the video train and I will try to have more videos up for you. But sometimes, you know, sometimes life is just like that. Sometimes you need to just, you know, take a little bit of a chill, um, you know, just a little moment to, to just chill and relax and not push yourself too hard. And I feel like that's what I've been doing. I wasn't really planning on doing that, but it just kind of happened. Also, like I talked about earlier, I think in my previous video, I at this very moment don't have a Let's Play to record. So that kind of like takes away one video for now that I could fill with another build. But then again, I only have 24 hours in a day. So how am I going to get all those builds done? You know what I mean? So I'm just working with what I have and this is what I have right now. And I hope that that is okay. Um, and yeah, I don't know. I just, I'm obsessed with how this house is coming together. I think that Tartosa has one of my favorite debug landscaping out of all the packs. I really like the trees that came with this pack. They're so good. There is that beautiful olive tree. And then there is that little, um, or actually that really tall tree that like, um, I was going to say green tree. I mean, most trees are green, but like the very tall one with the very, um, like green top area. I don't know. The one I just placed basically, I'm terrible at explaining it. And then there's this one with a little like light pink flowers in it. That is so cute as well. I don't know. I just, this pack has really good debug landscaping. It is all debug. There is no landscaping that like actually came with the pack in the, in the catalog, but it's all debug, which is fine by me. I, I use that for 95% of my landscaping anyway. So I'm fine with that. But yes, um, the debug stuff is really cute. And then I found this car. I remembered that this pack came with this beautiful car that I think is so cute, but I, um, in the end, decided to use the one from Cottage Living. I felt like that one looked just a little bit better. Um, is it a little bit weird to have a car here? Yes, maybe, but maybe it's like a little rental car that you kind of rent out with the house. So if you need to do like grocery shopping, stuff like that, you can just kind of rent out or like use the little car that basically comes with the house or maybe you have to pay extra for it. That's obviously also possible. Um, but at first I parked it here out front and I, then I was like, that is not going to work because I do also want like a nice dining table grill situation out there somewhere. So I parked it all the way <laughs> back on like the terrace area where I at first tried to place the, um, the dining table. You'll see that in a second here. Um, so the person driving this little car in and out of this area needs to have some serious, um, skill. <laughs> I feel like maybe it's not even that bad, but I personally am very bad at that kind of stuff. I don't like, for example, parallel park. I can't do it. I know it's typical. It's annoying, but I just, I really, I'm, I'm, I suck at it. And also what's worse is that it stresses me out. So then when I do try it, it just like stresses me out. And then I rage quit basically. <laughs> I know it's really terrible. It's a habit. I should work on it. 
Um, but yeah, I feel like when I parked that car, I was building this on stream for the most part, or actually for like, yeah, most of the exterior, I was building this on stream. And the people in my chat were like, yeah, that I'm not driving that. Uh, that car is gonna stay where it is. I'll do my grocery shopping um, by foot. Uh, that's okay, I'm not using it, it can stay there. <laughs> and then we kind of decided, you know what? Maybe it's just decorative. Maybe it's just a decorative little car. Who knows, who cares? Um, and then here I'm doing some extra landscaping just like around the house. I didn't really have a ton of lot left over. Uh, so there wasn't a whole lot to do, but I still wanted it to feel like very filled in and just full and lush and pretty and dreamy So I placed plants wherever I could and then I also went crazy with these um, With these vines type thingies. They're not vines. Gosh, what are they called? Wisteria? Is that the word? The wisteria that also came with cottage living, but also with this pack um, Or at least with this pack it came in debug and with cottage living I think it came in the actual catalog, but yeah, I used that all over because it just looks very dreamy and just uh, It looks like a fairy tale. I'm obsessed with how this house came out. I'm sorry I don't mean to toot my own horn, but I would love to go on vacation to a place like this. It just looks so dreamy and there is so much like fun outdoor stuff to do as well. Like so many little areas. That's what I like about the house. It's not just like one big open outdoor space, but it has all these little areas at the front of the house and the back of the house. Like a lot of little areas where you could just maybe um, hide away from the rest of your family for a little bit and just chill by the pool away from the family in the house or away from the family hanging out front, you know, like that sort of a thing. Um, that's kind of what I tried to do at least. And I do feel like it turned out really nice. I haven't built in Tartosa for a while actually and what inspired me to build here again was um, my shell tours actually that I did. I always host, um, I, I host shells like shell challenges over on my Twitch channel. I feel like every two months I wanna say and um it's so much fun because then at some point like after a, a few weeks i tour the builds that people submitted for the shell challenge and it's so much fun because you get to see all these beautiful builds that are just so creative and they just people just do stuff that you wouldn't necessarily think of because everyone's brain just works so differently everyone is so creative in a in such like a wildly different way so it's so fun to see all these ideas that you would never come up with but then you kind of like see all these little things and then you kind of remember little ideas and then you kind of just you learn from each other and you take or like you get inspired by each other, which is so much fun. And for my previous shell, for some reason, there were definitely a few that were in Tartosa. Sometimes you'll get like none in a specific world and other, other times you'll get like five shells in the same world. Um, and it's so random and it's so fun, but for some reason people felt inspired to build in, in Tartosa for my previous shell and it was actually a lot of fun. So I, I was like, you know what? I need to go back to that world and do a fun build here. Um, because it is really really pretty. It's it's really dreamy. I'm not super big on the my first wedding my first wedding I always call it my first wedding. I don't know why I do it. It's my wedding story stuff not my first wedding Oh my goodness, maybe it's your second wedding. Maybe it's your fifth wedding. Who cares? You know, I mean, I'm not super big on the gameplay for this pack, but I mean it's also probably because it's super it was super glitchy when it first came out and they did fix it, so that's good. It works a lot, a lot better than when it first came out. But also, it's still not, it's not perfect. Like sometimes you wanna have your Sims do stuff and it just doesn't work out. Sometimes you wanna like do a toast and no one gathers or uh, just stuff like that is just a little bit annoying and it takes too much time basically So I do use it all the time because obviously I have this pack So when I have a wedding you get the my wedding stories weddings um, But like for the activities that you can pick for your sims to do I just kind of tr I like pick two I like I say you got to walk down the aisle and you got to cut the cake and then that's it So then at least you'll only have like two little activities to take off and for the rest you can, you can just kind of go around and do whatever and I feel like that works well um, So that's just basically the way how I use it But yeah, I just I really love this world I feel like the vibes are so pretty and the create sim stuff like the wedding outfits are so 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 beautiful um, but anyway, we have moved on to the interior of the house. I did cut out the floor plan because the floor plan took me 
I feel like half the stream to figure out. So I just cut that out of the video and moved on to the landscaping basically because it took me forever. Um, but we got started on this big open area that has the living room, kitchen and dining as well. I feel like your Sims are gonna spend most of their time outside when they stay here, but obviously you're gonna need a kitchen for cooking and stuff. Um, and maybe it's nice to like have an indoor space to hang out and the house is pretty spacious. So we do have like a nice spacious living room area and then we have this nice big kitchen as well that I thought was um, so pretty. And then it is a rental house. So I really try to keep it down on the clutter because it is already such a big lot. I did a lot of landscaping. Um, the lot was already a little bit laggy for my game. So uh, I don't know, maybe it's a little bit too much, but I um, really, really tried to keep it down on the clutter, but I still wanted it to feel cozy and just, you know, lived in in a way like maybe people are staying here right now like that sort of a thing, but it's still very neat and there's definitely some decorations around, but just not like your everyday type of clutter that you would find in a residential lot, if that makes sense, um, to also just keep the lag down a little bit and make it not too overwhelming because the lot is a little bit overwhelming. Here by the kitchen, I had this area that I was like, I do not know what to do with this. I just don't know. And then, um, because I could do like more countertops all the way to the to the wall, basically to the opposite wall, but that looked odd and it was a little bit too big. Um, so I decided to create a little plant corner, if that makes sense, with a vase. And then I just kind of put a plant in it and with a little ottoman. And I placed a shelf underneath the window, which I thought was cute. Like that's a little extra spot for decorations. And I placed a, um, uh, what's it called? A trash can underneath it. So it kind of like blends in with the little plant area, if that makes sense. And then for the kitchen, uh, I placed a microwave and also a coffee maker because maybe your Sims want that. And um, this this kitchen set is from Jungle Adventure. I use a lot of Jungle Adventure because Jungle Adventure just looks really good when it comes to this type of a world, like this sort of a style. I feel like this pack comes with, with so many items that just work really well for a Mediterranean, like Spanish colonial type of a thing. Um, Selvaderrada, the world that came with Jungle Adventure is obviously not supposed to be like Spain, but still like, I feel like the items blend together very well. And I was going for a rustic, but also sort of upgraded modern vibe for this place. So the furniture pieces aren't like contemporary modern or mid-century modern, but they're like nice and lux like kind of feel luxurious. Um, at least that's what I was trying to make this place feel like. And I think I succeeded, but let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of this house. Do you ever go on vacation with your Sims? I tend to never do it, but whenever I do do it, it's so much fun. I feel like I really have to get on that more and like have my Sims go on vacation more often because it's so fun to like get a glimpse of a different sort of a lifestyle and just be away from your everyday lot. And it's just really nice. I don't know, it's just like a little bit of a breath of fresh air, if that makes sense. Um, but for the color scheme of this house, you can see it's very neutral, but I did bring in some color by using these couches. I found these couches worked really well with this interior style. These couches are from Growing Together, so they're from the newest expansion pack. Oh my God, which by the way, um, the horses pack was announced yesterday. <laughs> well, not officially, but everything leaked. Anyway, let's talk about that in a second. Um, but yeah, I found that this color, just the, the teal type of a color worked really well. And then I also used a lot of neutral tones and like orangey pink kind of tones, if that makes sense. That kind, that's kind of what I was going for or what I was combining. And I think it turned out really nice. But yes, um, oh my goodness, by the time you're watching this, the trailer for the new horse pack has already dropped. So I don't know if this is very interesting to listen to still, but yesterday we got the new roadmap and shortly after everything leaked for the new horses expansion pack, we get horses, we get ranches, we get mini goats and mini sheep, and it's gonna be so cute. I am very excited for um, this new pack. I'm also very excited for another world, a new world. I don't know, I feel like I've been craving new worlds. Obviously we got one with the previous expansion pack as well, which is nice, but I'm like, I'm in this zone where I'm like, I want more, I want new environments. So I'm so excited because from what I've seen from the screenshots for this pack, um, it's like a Western type of world or like a, a cowboy type of a town. I don't really know how to properly like explain it but it basically looks from what I've seen in the backgrounds of like the pictures it basically looks like 
Strangerville minus all the weirdness, if that makes sense, which I love because I think that Strangerville is one of the prettiest worlds we have in The Sims. I know that's wild, that's a bold statement, but it is really pretty. The lighting is gorgeous, the mountains are beautiful. It's just, it's such a vibe, it's so unique and I really like it, probably because it's so unfamiliar to me in real life. I really like it. Um, so I can't wait to get a like, quote unquote, full on world because Strangerville obviously is a game pack world and those tend to be a little smaller. Um, but I'm, I'm excited to see like an expansion pack world that is, that has at least somewhat of a similar style. Again, maybe I'm wrong because at this point there was no trailer or nothing. Um, so I don't know, but I've just seen the leaked screenshots and that is looking very promising to me. Um, for the bathroom situation for this house, by the way, there is one whole bathroom here downstairs. Obviously there is also a bathroom for the bridal or grandparents suite downstairs, but that one is not connected to the main house, if that makes sense. This one is obviously. So this is the biggest downstairs whole bathroom. Then upstairs, there's one more whole bath and upstairs the parents room also has an ensuite. Um, and the parents room also has room for an infant, by the way, they have a little crib in there. Uh, so that is all functional. And then there is one, um, bedroom that is shared for it just basically has two single beds and it also has some toys so that could work well for kids or teens um, or a kid and a teen for example and then there is one more shared bedroom that has one regular single bed for a kid or a teen or an adult or whatever and then that one also has a toddler bed and you can very easily swap that out for a regular bed if you need one um, so yeah basically two shared bedrooms parents bedroom with a crib for an infant and then this one that we're working on right now is the one for the either married couple or for the grandparents <laughs> it's, it's it's really just whatever um or the parents obviously could also be a thing i don't know whatever family dynamic you have but there is this like secluded little suite at the front of the house that is a little bit more private um if that makes sense so i felt like that was nice but yes uh back to horses let me know what do you think are you a horse type of a person I know that the community has been asking for horses for years now, so I'm actually so happy that they listened uh, and that they're giving us horses now. It's funny because I wasn't really one of the, those people. Um, I have always liked horses, but I personally never played The Sims 3, so I don't have any experience with horses in The Sims whatsoever. And I was never really like, give me horses now, I need it. Um, but now that we're getting them, I'm like, yes, because it's funny because I did used to be a horse girl when I was little. <laughs> yes, I used to have a horse. Me and my sister had had a horse that we, I mean, shared, I guess, um, that we both like cared for together. Um, and we did like competitions and stuff and it was really fun. So I was definitely a horse girl when I was little. It's been years, like literal years, so long ago. Um, my sister used to have horses up until a few years ago. Um, so I actually, whenever I would go over there, which she does live in a different country, so I don't see her that often. But when I do, uh, and when she still had horses, we used to ride together, which is really fun. So I definitely have my fair share of experience with horses. Uh, but for some reason, I was never super excited or like I was, I mean, I would have always been excited, but I was never like, I need horses in the Sims where I am. Like I need cars and functional garage doors and stuff in the Sims. I wasn't, I was never really like, I need horses in the Sims, but now that I'm seeing it and now that, I, now that I know we're getting them, I'm like, yes. Oh my God. This is so fun. Uh, so I'm actually so excited. I am slightly worried of how much um, of the like cottage living stuff is going to basically be recycled, if that makes sense, because we do get a some sort of like a farming aspect from what I've read and from what I've uh, from what I understand from the leaked information, there is some sort of a farming aspect to it. We get the little extra animals, if that makes sense, like um, little goats and sheep, which maybe work like cows and uh, llamas, maybe not. I don't know, I'm speculating at this point, which makes no sense because like I said, by the time you're watching this, you will probably also already have seen the trailer and you'll probably know a lot more about it than I do at this point, but still I can speculate. I'm excited <laughs> for me. This information at this moment in time is brand new. <laughs> so yeah, I'm very excited about that. Um, so I'm, like I said, a little bit worried about what's going to be recycled, what's going to be already familiar to us, but just like in a different version, if that makes sense. 
we'll see, you know, but, um, I don't know. I'm, I'm very excited to see what's coming. I'm excited for horses. I am way excited to start building horse ranches. Oh my God. I remember I had so much fun when Cottage Living first came out. I did a huge like farmhouse build that I had so much fun with. It was, I think the biggest lot I'd ever done at that point. And I really, really liked it. I had so much fun with it. So I can't wait to start building like horse ranches and oh, uh, I don't know. I'm just very excited about it. But you can see that we are moving on to the, uh, we have moved on to the upstairs area and we did the parents room that also has a little crib that you can pick up and move around the house, uh, I think. So that's actually pretty nice. And then this is a shared bedroom that has a very bright like yellow and green sort of a color scheme. When it comes to these types of rental houses, I like to go quote end quote a little bit crazy when it comes to fun colors and fun color combinations that maybe would be a little bit too much for your everyday like residential. I don't think I'd pick this color combo with like the orangey yellow wallpaper and the green bedding, but I feel like it just looks really pretty for this house with the like vacation holiday vibes. I don't know. I feel like it works. And then this is a uh, the other shared bedroom that has a um, regular bed and then also a toddler bed. And I feel like if you needed another full size bed, you could swap it out. You could swap out the toddler bed for a full size bed and maybe move the door over ever so slightly. And then that should all be uh, functional as well. But for the rest, there is more than enough space for all your Sims. At least all the age groups um, can sleep here, except for newborns. But I don't think you can bring newborns on vacation anyway, can you? I don't actually know this. I've never tried this before. Infants for sure, yes, but babies, newborns? I don't think so. I don't know. Um, but yeah, for the rest, you can see that these bedrooms aren't super fully like cluttered and personalized. They're pretty spacious or like spacious. They're small, but like there is a lot of space left to route around and basically maybe just leave your luggage, which obviously your Sims don't bring luggage, but we can just pretend. Um, and then here we have the last of the outdoor space as well. This is the little back area of the house with a pool. And I decided to place a little bar area here so your Sims can have a nice glass of juice. And then there's another like seating area here as well. And this area is like off of the sunroom that I think I totally talked over, but we have like a beautiful sunroom. Um, off of the uh, dining area of the house basically and then there's another seating area and then obviously we need a bunch of lounge chairs here by the pool I had space for four of them so I think that's good you were probably not going to have all of your eight sims lounging at the same time so I feel like four lounge chairs is enough and then I also placed a little umbrella table here on the other side which I thought was a nice little area to sit and hang out maybe have some food and then I also placed some yoga mats here underneath the tree because that is the most beautiful little spot to do some yoga but that's it for the house so let's jump in the game and I'll show you the house in real time so here we have the house in the game I feel like it looks very inviting and like very family vacation ish if that makes sense we have this large like driveway situation and there is a nice dining table here out front like a nice eight-seater dining table it looks very fancy and just like beautiful and dreamy and then back here we have a grill and a little like outdoor kitchen situation with some counter space as well so you can do all the like dinner parties out here if you wanted to there is some space for those serving tables or banquet tables I'm not exactly sure what the word is but where you can like serve food or like cut cake stuff like that there is some space for that here as well then around the house here we have some yoga mats I thought that was a great addition and then here we have the back area of the house with a bar a seating area a pool of course a lounge area with some towels ready to go and a nice umbrella table and then over here obviously we have the front porch where I place a chess table as a nice extra activity and then off to the side here is that bridal suite or grandparents suite they have their own little entryway and also a built-in closet for some storage and then here they have their bedroom situation also a nice seating area next to it and a dresser all ready to go to store your clothes of course and then they also have an ensuite I did not record this one um, because that's pretty boring but they they do have a nice ensuite with a shower tub combo and a double sink then on to the main area of the house which is right here we have these double front doors and then a little entryway with some storage here as well to just store away your luggage and then through these double doors, we 
have the living, kitchen, and dining area that is in one big open space. This color scheme to my eyes just feels very nice and soothing. Don't mind the name of my sim, by the way. <laughs> I just now realized that this was up. This is one of my 100 baby challenge sims. And at one point we were in an ABC where we named everyone after furniture or house related objects. So um, yeah, this person got K and they got the name Knob. I'm so sorry. I will just quickly click that away. Anyway, here we have the beautiful spacious family kitchen with an island area as well. And then back here is a seating area that, I mean, your sims probably won't use all that often, but it's nice that it's there. Like sometimes it rains. I guess. And then you want to have a place to hang out. You could also hang out here though in the sunroom. I love these couches. I should use these more often because look at those colors. It just looks gorgeous. So this sunroom has a bunch of plants and a seating area. And of course we have the dining table right here. Another nice eight seater dining table. And then here by the staircase we have this really big bathroom. I never make my bathrooms this big, but yeah, this is huge, which is nice. It has a separate shower and tub and uh, basically everything your Sims need. Then when we go up we have this very strange landing i know this shape is really weird but this is just how the floor plan made the most sense with three bedrooms an ensuite for the parents and another hall bathroom that is something i really wanted so uh it just this landing is really weird but it is just what it is and i feel like i feel like i did make it make sense you know what i mean because we have this little landing space here with some storage and then a nice bookcase with a computer because a computer is actually nice to have when you're on vacation it's very useful so i felt like that was a nice addition and then through here is where we have some doors like into bedrooms so this is the parents room this one is really nothing special but it is like nice and just serene and chill and they do have this infant space as well or infant bed i should say so you can bring your infant here and they have this tiny ensuite bathroom as well this one's really small so they only have a shower but i feel like that's okay because there is a tub literally right here in this hall bath so if they did need to bathe their infant or toddler then you can just do that right here or downstairs really then over here is a shared bedroom for a toddler and basically any other sim that you have in your household uh we have some toddler blocks back here as well so they can play with that and some books over there and then this one right here is the kids or teens room or whatever you want to use it for basically it just has two single beds and then some toys back here if you need them and then obviously also a wardrobe and a mirror but that is basically it for this house so this luxury family rental is up on the gallery it is very expensive <laughs> it comes in at over 140 40,000 simoleons, just under 144,000 to be exact. It's ridiculous. So the overnight price is probably going to be terrible. It is on the gallery as a residential, but I did build it as a rental. I mean, you could use it for whatever you want to use it for, of course. I built it on a 30 by 20 in Tartosa. So if you want to place it in your game, then that is where it goes. But that's going to do it for today's video. So I really hope that you enjoyed this one. You can obviously go ahead and download this house off the gallery. My username on the gallery is Simmery Sims. You can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and on TikTok if you'd like. My username on there is Simmery Sims as well. If you're not subscribed to my channel already, feel free to do so. And if you want to be notified of every single time I upload a video, just click that little bell icon and you should be fine. I also live stream over on Twitch a few times a week. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and give me a follow over on twitch.tv forward slash Simmery Sims. So I just want to say thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!